Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we got our... We finished off the first 11 shines in the game. And finished up Bianco Hills. And in this episode, we're going to go start the next level of the game. But before we do that, I'd like to show something off. Um, if you haven't noticed yet, the um, line of sunshine is increasing slowly with each shine sprite. Um, I believe once we get 30 or 40 shine sprites, it'll be, um, the entire area will be completely lit up, um, even past the screen barriers. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing. Um, I really don't like Delfino Plaza so much when it's dark, but when it gets really bright, I mean, it's probably my favorite hub world ever. Alright, so this is, uh, the entrance to the, our next world. Um, now... Uh, I like kind of just to come on this boat, you know, and then you can squirt it from here pretty easily, and here, uh, uh, I'm not sure if there's any of those things that'll attack you, but if there are, you're perfectly safe from them now, so, kind of the best of both worlds. And you know, the rule of three, pretty simple, once, twice, and three times. And this one revives itself. This one unfortunately revives itself. Because it's that powerful. Alright, so there's once. Twice. And it only revives itself once, so this is the last one. Three times. And we're done. So... And here's our next world of the game. Uh... Once again, we spray the M, and this is... Rico Harbor. Um... I love Rico Harbor, to be truthful. Like, I absolutely love Rico Harbor. The only problem I have with it is that the level is so small compared to some of the other levels. Um, alright, so now... It's telling us to go that way. Just come over here, get on this, jump on top of this grate, jump over here, get on this, jump on this, get over here, and then use these grates. Um, jump on the side, obviously, climb it to the top, jump off, press A to climb on the top one. Um, you'll automatically grab onto the side ones if you just come up to it. Um, on the side one, it's this one. Um, but you have to press A if you want to get on top, so it's kind of a thing. Then you drop down with B. And then there's a thing you have to wait for. Alright. And I'm gonna jump on it. Alright. I have to ride it over here. So I'm just gonna... And actually, there's like an entire system up there, too. Um, but we don't really need to explore it for this shine. And actually, you can kind of skip almost all the level with a cheat. Um, but I'm guessing you guys will be smart enough to figure it out on your own. And you just kind of squirt this. And it'll raise up the, uh, boat. Or submarine. Oh, I didn't want to get that blue coin. Alright, well now you guys know where one of the blue coins is. I didn't mean to get that, but whatever. There's not much I can do about it now. Now that I've already- God, Mario, stop grabbing onto stuff. And uh, if you touch that black goop, it's the exact same as uh, what'll happen in um, episode 6 of Bianco Hills, the water will hurt you. And these right here are bloopers. Um, anyone who's played a Mario game before, who knows what a blooper is. Um, bloopers, basically, um, they're just kind of like squids that, um, will spray sludge at you. Um, I mean, I think they're kind of nasty. Especially when you see this part right up here. And then you just come over here, and you'll see a bunch of shipping crates. 
All right, now before you get the shipping crates, you're probably gonna want to get rid of the sludge, just because sludge is kind of a bad thing, um, because you know it can spawn this um, whatever colorful sludge monster things. All right, uh, I probably should have saved some of that water, but whatever. All right, now you just press B at this, and then you walk backwards, and you'll rip it off. And we have cutscenes all you want. I think you guys ordered wrong. <laughs> ordered Chinese food instead of parts for Rico Harbor. I guess that's why they never finished Rico Harbor. Because they ordered a blooper instead of the rest of the parts they needed. I don't know. That'll be a theory. Okay, now what he's gonna do, uh, if you squirt his face with a little water so he gets mad, and then he's gonna shoot his tentacles at you. Now what you're going to want to do is right before he smacks you with his tentacles, you're going to want to jump. You're going to jump straight on his tentacles, like that, and you're going to flatten them. And you can just grab the tentacle, and walk back, rip it off. Now you don't have to rip off all the tentacles, but I usually do, just uh, for safety's sake. Um, I think Chugga Conrad did it with only ripping off one, but I'm just going to rip them all off because, you know, I got time. I guess, so, you know. Okay. Just pull. And that's really kind of sick how, like, it still shakes even though you've killed him. So, like, it's still, like, it's disembodied but still alive. I find that really kind of gross. And now uh, he's pretty much defenseless. But I think you can actually grab these tiny. Hold on. If he stops turning for a couple seconds. I think you can grab these tiny ones on him. I think I have before. Stop it! Hold still. Maybe you can. Huh. I think I've grabbed one before, but I don't think they come off. It's kind of pointless. Now you just want to grab his nose and rip it off, and you'll pull the cork out. Now, unfortunately, he respawns because this is a Mario game, and you know, we're already kind of past the simple rule of three, now we're on to the double rule of three. Where we kind of need to be, you know, getting into some real stuff. And wow, I actually jumped on his tentacles in midair. Which I wasn't actually sure. I didn't know you could do that, but okay, that's kinda cool, I guess. Um, so, it's the exact same thing as before. Jump. You jump on his tentacles to, um, find it. To destroy him. But I don't think they home on you this time. Ah, okay. Grab it. Rip. He falls. Grab it. Jump. Spray, jump, and you know, like, um, like in all the Mario games, like, when, like the bloopers always seem to have like disembodied arms. I always thought that was like really kind of weird. Like, um, there was one in Super Mario RPG. I believe there was one in Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Um, there might have been one in the original Paper Mario. Um, and I. Uh, and actually, I was playing a Super Mario crossover recently, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's just like, it's a Flash game made of uh, the original Mario game, with all the SNES, or all NES old characters like Link and Zelda, or not Zelda, but uh, Link, Mega Man, and Samus and stuff, and you just pull his nose again, and it's like dead, um, but, yeah, and he falls in the water and dies. Pretty sick. And we get our next shine sprite. Um, basically, but yeah, what I was talking about. Um, uh, basically, yeah. Um, and I was playing it, and um, like a lot of characters can shoot weapons, so like they don't actually have to jump on stuff like Mario does. I was playing some of the underwater levels where you have to like where there's the blooper and the cheap cheeps, and I absolutely hate bloopers and cheap cheeps now. And that's actually another level that we can open up because we have enough shine sprites, but we're not going to open it yet because we're not done with Rico Harbor. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely hate bloopers and cheap cheeps now because, like, you can't touch them. That's, like, the worst part is you can't even touch them. Alright, so now episode 2 of Rico Harbor, back to what we were talking about. Oh, really? Alright, my GameCube turned off for the second time today, so I'll have to cut back to right. Hey, everybody, I'm back, and... We're going to go do episode 2 of Rico Harbor. 
Um, episode two of Rico Harbor is Blooper Surfing Safari. Um, I like this level, but when I first played this game, I absolutely hated it because I actually like I got stuck in a lot of parts in this game, mainly secret missions. But I got stuck in a lot of parts in this game, and this was one of them. I know, episode 2 of Rico Heart. Anyway, you come over here, you walk along those logs, you just jump here, and now there's three kinds of bloopers. There's the green blooper, the yellow blooper, and the purple blooper. Now, those vary in uh, strengths and weaknesses. The green blooper is the slowest blooper, but it has the best handling. So for all you novices out there, use the green blooper. For the yellow blooper, um, is the best, uh, uh, is the, is the second fastest and has the second best handling, and the purple blooper is the fastest, but it has the worst handling. I'm just gonna use the green blooper because it's, I'm, it's just my personal favorite. And I'm really coming up on the time limit, I hope I don't have to pick a half part, but I may have to. Uh, Alright, now you just come drive it in to this little cave. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make this kind of. I'm gonna just make this part like the blooper surfing safari, a half part. Um, so you have three bloopers again. Um, now you have to do this timed though. So uh, for the first time you do it, you have to get it in under I think 60 seconds. And I'm gonna use the yellow blooper because I think I can get it. Um, but if you hit anything, a wall or any obstacle instant death. You will die instantly. Um, so don't. If you go on that ground, you'll go really, s you'll go slow. Um, I wouldn't recommend you do that. See, just like that. I wouldn't recommend you do it. Um, because it'll slow you down quite a bit. Um, you can jump by pressing A, but there's only one time where you're really going to want to do that. And it's right here. Shortcut 1. Shortcut 2. And you'll actually need that if you want to get the secret shine for this area. And you have to get it in under 40 seconds, which I didn't there, but that's because I kept hitting the ground. Um, but yep, here's our shine sprite. And we're going to collect it. Yes. Shine. So now, there is actually a secret part for this mission um so we just head back and no i don't want to go there yet all right so we just head back into rico harbor uh, okay and we reselect episode two um Okay, sorry, I'm gonna stop. Nerd should not beat box. And you know what? I'm just gonna kind of admit it that I am a nerd. Because, you know, for God's sake, I'm doing a let's play, right? I... I mean, this is about as nerdy as it gets. I mean, aside from going to, like, Star Trek conventions and stuff. I mean, not... I mean... Mm, no problem with anyone who does. I mean, I just kind of think, like, that's, like, the ultimate nerdy. But, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, I mean, sure. I mean, go for it. I mean, I like E3 and stuff, so that's convention. 